Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Saturday the 23rd of September 2023. I'm in Czech Republic and I'm going to have a look what mushrooms I can find. It's cloudy early in the morning, so it's still quite dark in the forest. But it's bright enough to notice that there are tons of blushers today. And some of them are really beautiful. But I'm not picking blushers today because I will not have time to process them fresh. However, there are some other mushrooms nearby, like these babolids, which are apparently a bit damaged, but they could still be good. I will check them. This one looks a bit nicer, at least from top. And here we have one more. With a very long stem. And here this looks like a nice firm tap. So I hope it will be healthy. Looks good. So let's check if this guy is healthy. And it seems like it is. Yeah, looks very nice. It's not the youngest one, but it's in a good shape. Here is a nice old oak and under it, in its leaves, I have found a sap. Firm and looks quite young. So, beautiful find. So, let's check if this guy is healthy. It is very firm, so I believe it is healthy. The flesh is a bit yellow at some parts, so I tried to cut that out, but otherwise no holes from worms, so that's great. Yeah, a beautiful, huge and healthy mushroom. Here is one from my favorite category of forest road finds. I was lucky to spot this guy, a young Boletus edulis. When I was walking on the forest road. Finally a spot with some beautiful fly agarics. I have found a nice bay bolid, which I didn't record. And another one which I will record. Because it looks really good. With quite a long stem. I think it's very nice. This looks like another bay bolid. Quite well hidden. 
and actually it's probably a scarletina bonnet. Yeah, it is. And it's very long stem and quite well shaped, so another nice find here. This is a nice place with quite many mushrooms actually. I will start with these two probably babolites. Yeah. This one is very nice. Another one. There's one more mushroom, quite a thick babolite, unfortunately the slug are smashing it. Here are two bigger ones, this one is really huge, partially damaged by slugs. And the younger one, which looks better. There is a very tiny one, which looks great too. One more. This one doesn't look very good, unfortunately. Two more. But they are damaged. Never mind. And this one is probably the nicest. Another group of beautiful blushers. I especially like these three, so I took a picture of them. There are some more. They can be very well camouflaged. But I was lucky to find it. Very thick. Quite damaged on the outside, but I hope it will be okay. So let's check the health. Yeah, this one is very wormy. The worst today. I think even the head will not be very usable. An unexpected find today. Looks like orange oysters here. It's a very nice and photogenic mushroom, which I usually find in winter, and I'm taking a picture of it. This is a mixture of younger spruces, maybe fierce and beeches. And the young Boletus edulis is here. It's very firm. Looks very fresh and the size is decent already. 
So let's check the health of this guy. It's very firm, so except of these yellow parts, it looks very healthy, which is great. So yeah, one beautiful tip. Some tree trunks are richly covered by clusters of honey fungus, which is another sign of autumn being here. One more forest road finds, this time with golden chanterelles. Quite huge and look very fresh. We again have some nice finds here. This is a trunk covered with this beautiful honey fungus. I think this is the dark honey fungus, Armillaria ostoyae, but it's my guess. Behind the trunk we have a nice babolite. Unfortunately, slugs are really enjoying it. And also a young tsep here. With a pretty long stem actually. So here we have two nice mushrooms from here. A lovely find in the moss. Very long stem and still perfectly looking very fresh. So let's check the health of this guy. Again looks very healthy. Beautiful, fresh, healthy mushroom. A tsep with many slugs under the head, but surprisingly it's not much damaged, so hopefully it will be healthy. So let's check the health of this guy. There is something wrong with the stem down there, but from here and up should be okay. Yeah, I will finish the cleaning later, but another nice step to the basket. Looks like another sep. And this one looks very fresh. Yeah. 
It's a good day for forest road finds. I hope you can see them. I saw this beautiful guy from quite of a distance. And it looks great. A little bit damaged by slugs as usual. But it looks quite fresh, very firm, heavy and huge. And just after that I have noticed there are four more actually. One, two, three, four. So I will take the bigger ones. Yeah, these two have to go together. It's visible that these are a bit older than the first one. But hopefully they will still be good. Nope, this one is not. This one is moldy. So this one will stay here. But the others will go with me, probably. This is a place with some fly agarics. And maybe two or three meters from them, we also have a nice zap. Looks quite fresh again, very nice. Here is quite a nice fly agaric. And uh, several meters from it, I have noticed two zeps. This one seems to be very much damaged, so I'm not taking it. And this one, which is much better hidden, looks also much more smooth. And hopefully, it will be okay. Quite pretty. So, another nice find. The most common mushroom in the forest the, today is definitely a blusher. And this one is a beautiful one. And here is a small one. And then we have two zeps here. This one is so much damaged that I will not take. But this one looks good. The stem is very long. It's very difficult to take it out. But yeah. Now it's up here on the sunlight with some small slugs and a spider and I don't know what else but looks good. Seems like we have one more from the category of forest road finds. This should be a nice fresh zap if I am not wrong. Yep. It is. Very good looking. Another guy that I saw from a forest road. Looks very nice. And I think it could also be Boletus reticulatus and not Boletus edulis as most of the mushrooms today, but I'm not sure about this one. After this one I have noticed there is also this guy, even closer to the forest road, but a bit better hidden. So this one looks similar. And that's still not everything. We have spruce here, but also several beaches 
and I have noticed one beautiful round head and I'm almost sure that this is a Boletus reticulatus, so a summer sap. And I took a picture of this one. And this one looks basically perfect. Such a beautiful mushroom. I'm pretty sure this is Boletus reticulatus because of the colors and material parameters. So, three more beautiful mushrooms here. So let's check their health. This guy was a bit wormy on the bottom of the stem but there are just a few tiny holes from here so that will be okay. Ouch! Almost escaped. This one is completely healthy. And how about the nicest one? I need to show it to the camera one more time. There is something in the stem. Yeah, it is a bit warm here. And I will check it further. Not completely okay, but I believe that at least the head will be okay. So we have some more beautiful mushrooms to the basket. Here are some shattered wood tufts. The Latin name should be Querneromices mutabilis. And I like to take pictures of them. Sometimes I notice mushrooms just thanks to making a short break somewhere in the forest. And that's also the case of this beautiful sap. Such a nicely fresh looking specimen. So let's check the health of this guy. It's very firm. That's great. So yeah, another beautiful guy to the basket. And now we will also have a look at a few finds from yesterday in a different forest in Czech Republic. This looks like a birch bolete. And it looks very nice actually, very smooth, not damaged by anything, so a nice find. Quite well hidden, and at first I didn't even know what it is, but this is a nice Scarletina bolete actually. And it's really, really well shaped. Beautiful mushroom. On this oak we have quite many mushrooms despite of dry weather. 
These are some cluster mushrooms. I'm not sure about the name, but I used to know it. And this one is a beefsteak mushroom. It likes to grow on oaks. And from the other side we have more of the clustered mushrooms. We are on the edge of a pine forest and near pines this mushroom likes to grow. The Latin name is Sparasis crispa. I forgot the English name but you can see it in the subtitles now. And it's a really good edible mushroom. So I would like to take it. It's just not very easy to pull out. And it can be also quite dirty sometimes. And to me it smells like bacon. And here is one more. This one has more regular shape, quite round. Very often some tiny insect likes to hide in these mushrooms, so you can find some surprises at home that come out. But I think it's still worth it because the mushroom is beautiful and very tasty. Today there are also many of these mushrooms. In Latin they are called scleroderma. I think in English it could be called earthball or earthball. And they used to be considered as edible, but according to modern knowledge, I think they are considered to be poisonous. And I want to show you how they look like inside on a cut. The forest is really beautiful today. And so is our basket, I would say. So this is the find. We have mostly ceps or babolites and a few scarletinas or golden chanterelles. So I hope you like this video. If yes, then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check the links in the description, or you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.